Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Sandra, and today we are playing Fran Bow. Chapter 1. Fran Bow is a game about a little girl that has to go to a mental hospital after seeing her parents dismembered. Um, I'm going to start a brand new game here. This game uses auto -fix. Sure. Good. But, here we go. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me. I wonder. It's a cat. So sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight. My best friend. My only friend. Oh. We're having dinner and I see Aunt Grace too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. We are having so much fun. And Mr. Midnight drinking all that milk. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels really bad. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. I suddenly hear something. Suddenly I hear something. It's mom screaming. Mm -mm. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. And closer. Uh oh. Mom? Dad? Please don't. Hmm. Mommy? Daddy? Ugh. Her parents? dead. She's running away. Mr. Midnight. Okay, somebody found her. What I like about this game so far is about, it's in, uh, from the mind of a child. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. Chapter one. My sober day. Okay. Three. Fran, how do you feel? I'm fine, I guess. I feel like dying. I'm fine, I guess. Just sad to see the same things. Sadness is something everybody has within. I want to find the killer. I want to go home. I want to find the killer. I really want to know who killed my parents. The police are working on it. I'll find my cat and killer. Nobody does anything. Nobody does anything. The police are doing nothing. Don't be so negative. Surely we will get answers soon. Okay. But now I have something for you, Fran. What is it? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Okay. Yep. This was my mother's purse. Oh, 
Open it, there is something inside. I can't use this, maybe I should examine it. Okay, so examine. Dearest Fran, here's the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and can combine them with other things. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it and give it and all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. She is worried about you, Aunt Grace. Well, another reason to let me go. Well, don't worry about her. She is fine. So tired of all this. Can I leave now? Can I go to my room now? Oh. You can leave. But before you do, it is time for your new medicine. <laughs> new medicine? What medicine? No more medicine. No more medicine. I don't want to try more medicine. I'm going to move this. It's called Duotine. And it will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. We're not ready. Anything new today, Dr. Jern? Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, friend, take your medicine. So, yeah. What I like most about this game so far is that it seems to be mostly from the mind of Fran, of a child. At least from the beginning. Um... I guess we'll be playing as Fran, who just lost her parents, and now is about to be given something called Duotine. Here, Fran, take your medicine. We don't have all day, Fran. Take the pills now. Um, okay. I don't feel good. Oh boy, she shouldn't be taking those. Oh no, take her back to her room. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. Well, maybe you shouldn't be just shoving pills down a child's throat. Mm -mm. Beware, Frambo. If you leave the house of madness, I will hunt you down, catch you, and bring you back to insanity. Fran, wake up. The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. So is a cat actually talking to her? Or she think a cat is talking to her. And this is actually like the devil coming after her? Or is it all in her head? That's the question. Okay. Let's keep going. She's waking up in her bed. I'm still here. Hideous place. I have to get out of here. Okay. What's on the wall? Fran Bo, Fran Bo Dagenhart, age 10. So she's 10 years old. The patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagenhart family tragedy details admitted. Treated Dr. Marcel Dern has tried different medications and all have been canceled because of side effects. Psycho, what? I'm not that for sure. It's a creepy clown picture. I will get your nose. I will get it. That's what I like about her so far is locked. Good reason to get curious. Um, is we're going to see everything through the mind of a child. So that's pretty cool. Sweet Melody. Okay. What about this window? Oh. Oh, holy moly. Something fell. Can I pick it up? A hook. I'll save it later. The pay, uh, the play pirate later. Okay. Okay. So can I look out the window? Okay. Tower defense. We have for you a crazy person. What did it say? Or is it defense tower? Guess I'm that way it was out. 
I don't think my head would fit through the window. Probably not. Oop. I'm in my head. Hmm. Let's go to the left. Okay, what's this wheelchair about? My legs are just fine. Empty bottles, empty glasses, nothing useful. Let me talk to her. Hmm. Oh, Fran, you're awake. Good. How long was I asleep? Three days, maybe. Was it the medicine that made me sleepy? Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you are not taking it anymore. Um, something happened. Oh, I forgot something happened. See, you are nothing but trouble. What is it? I broke the curtain. Trying to look outside and accidentally broke the curtains. You accidentally. I have to fix this. Follow me. Okay. I'm going to follow her. Before I follow her, I'm going to look in your desk. What's on your desk? I'm curious if the nurse is still inside this room. Oh, can I look now? But I'm going to talk to her. Ugh, fine, she's still in the room. Go to the right. Mm -hmm. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? What's a hook? Well, I have to go and find something to fix this, you little girl. Hmm. So I'm also have I'm also a little liar. I lied to her about having a hook because I do have a hook. All right. Can I look in the desk now? All right. Pills. Oh, I'll keep these patches to stop blood. Okay. Ew. Uh, violent trauma has a great impact on children totally changing their normal lives. Because only children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe deficiencies. Deficiencies in some abilities such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Hmm. So... Fran could be suffering from paranoia. Oh gosh, I can't read that. A-H. That might be something important. Fran Bow. Three days, something, something. But I see an eight and an H, so I'm gonna remember that. What's in the drawer? Oh my goodness, it's terrible. Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all. I'll leave it as it was. I really need to get out of this place. She's not bringing the gun. Um, I think it's for medicine, but it's locked. Okay. Let's look at this. Examine. We cracked the code. Examine. Use. Okay. So... There's going to be different letters with numbers, but I know that H had an 8 on it. Hmm. I need to find I, D, and E. Did I see anything else on here? No. Can I change the pages? No. I don't think that has anything to do with it. I don't think that has anything to do with it. H, 8. See anything else on here? No. Okay, let's look up here. No, no, nothing, nothing. All right, I'm gonna look back over here. What about this drawer? Is it still locked? Locked, good reason. Okay, anything on these papers? Okay, I hate the monster. I have tried, Mr. I, have, I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. So Fran wants the medicine so that she can find her cat again, Mr. Midnight. He was her best friend in the whole world. Alright, let's go to the right. Okay, what's this box? Oh, a secret box. Alright, what's in this box? Examine. A key. So certainly open something. Yes, it might. It might open the drawer in my room. Oh, no. Use it. There. I found a bobby pin. Okay. Can I use this? 
No. Examine it. There's my family. I'll grace the cat. I'll guard this with my life. Okay. The box. Anything in this? Examine. No. Okay. Anything with the music box? Mm, no. Okay. What about this little boy? Hello, Phil. Hello. Do you know your way out? How are you? Everybody says that I'm sick. They're just stupid. I have to find my kitty now. Bye. They are just stupid. They always say that. They are just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? I will if you help me. I will if you help me. The only thing I know is that the office is the key. If there's a key inside, I'll go there. Is there a key inside? I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? Uh-oh. Him. Ooh. That is creepy. Ugh. All doors are closed. You are a prisoner of my games. And nobody will help you escape. Get out of here. Leave me alone. I hate you. Okay. Is there anything else I can do now? Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. Oh, that poor little girl. No, I won't let that monster stop me. Are you having a good time? If I sit down, I'll eventually get up, so what's the point? <laughs> True. Ugh, oh, Fillmore 8. The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronstone. The boy developed paranoid behavior. Paranoia not yet diagnosed. Daily treatment with Dr. Byrne. We have not achieved the patient's trust, and he refuses to be questioned. Okay. About the doll. I used to have a blue dress like yours. About the bear. I hope somebody loves you. Mm hmm. What about this? Of course it's locked. Um, will this use that? It fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. Uh, what about the The shape is not right. Use it. Alright, so I need something else. Let's look for something else. Anything under the bed? I already looked in the drawer. Can I use that on here? Uh, can I use that on here? Hmm. Was there something on these papers? Hmm. Anything? No. <sighs> I gotta open something. There's gotta be a way. Hmm. Maybe all of these correspond to the box. Maybe it's not just that one. So let's see. Use. So H was 8. No, oh, I passed it. My bad. So we had A, B, C, D, so 3, 4. This would be 5. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and that would be 9. Ah, yeah! I got my pills! I got my pills! Okay. So... Should I take the pills now? And go back to my room. Okay. There's dead things everywhere. What happened to Mr. Clown? Where did the clown go? 
Where did the clown go? Anything here? There's a dead bunny. Oh, are you sleeping, sweet bunny? Hmm. Who did it? I have no guilt. I have no guilt. I have no guilt. Ooh, that's very interesting. I wonder if Fran killed her own parents and they just didn't show that. Hello? That's creepy. Don't move. Oh, is that my head? Give me my head back, please. Just go away, you weird creatures. All right, yeah, I'm not. Oh, can I leave now? Yeah, that's creepy. Oh, thank you. Uh, what about over here? Oh, is that the nurse? Oh, hello, Miss Nurse. Are you all right? Watch your step. Oh, I've got a needle. That's the other thing I need to open the door. So I need to use the pills along with the real world. Can I talk to you? Do I want to talk to you? Get out, creepy creature. Yeah, okay. Can I go down the stairs first? Absolutely not. You can't tell her that. That's the doctor. But she has to know. You can't keep me away from her. Oh, uh, reason is more than the reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. So my aunt wants to take me home right now, and I want to go home, but the doctor's not letting me. Is that legal? Okay. I'm going to move my face so I can read these things. Okay, over here. You can't. Fran's mental condition is not appropriate yet. Oh. Changed again. Get up. Was that real? Oh, dear Aunt Grace. I wonder what she has to tell me. The doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. And now she really wants to get out. Hello, oh, Mr. Fox. Oh no, Foxy Fox, don't cry. Use my hand as a tissue. Would you like a hug? Ooh. Alright. Ooh, man. Hello? Oh no, your head. Oh, no. I'll try to put your head back on. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't help you, Mr. Deer. All right. This points to happiness. What does his chart say now? You can see. Can I talk to him? Why are you looking at me like that? You terrify me. Of course it's locked. All right. So let's use, combine it with this. Okay. Now I can use it on the door. All right. I want to take the pills back. Let's walk through the door. Okay. What if I take the pills now? Oh. What was that? Daddy was not there. Mommy would not care. Okay. What's in this room? Oh, what are these monsters are like attached to the children. Oh, what's in that? I don't want to touch it. It's the clown from the painting. Oh, he's stuffed in a box. What's this? Why do you look like a fabric doll? You can see. Okay. Oh, okay. What do you have to say? Hello. You see them. You do, right? What? See what? The creatures that follow everyone. The shadows? You mean the shadows? Uh-huh. I can't see them, but I know they are there. You know what they are? Yeah, I guess. Tell me, please. You like to draw? I love to draw. I love it too. But tell me more about the shadows. Crayon, a crayon. I want to find a crayon. I draw all the time. 
I draw all the time. Yeah, I gotta keep moving my face to read these things. Um, I wanna fall in, I wanna find my cat. Draw a cat if you don't have one. Keep I better keep looking for my cat. Your cat is in danger. The shadows took him, I know. Who told you that? Creepy. The one that follows me. Bye. Um, can I have that's mine, my crayons. Can I have it? I just like the green crayons so much. Can I have it? No, I won't be able to draw green then. That's ridiculous. But you have so many. Yes, many colors, but you know, they don't like me drawing. Who? The nurses, they tie me up. And when I want to draw, I can't. They are crazy. The nurses are crazy. When I can't draw, I hurt myself. Then comes the red milk. Look. Oh. That's not very good. She sounds like she might need to be there. Um, please cure me. Yes, and stop the red milk. I'll see what I can do. I have band-aids. Do you want a band-aid? Oh, good girl. Thank you. You can have the crayon now. Go. I have to draw. All right. Now I got a green crayon. Do I need to be here anymore? Don't think so. Okay. A water closet. It's the bathroom. Ooh. What if I take the pill? The king likes drawings. The king likes drawings. Okay. That might be something to remember. Uh-oh. Huh, there you are. You should be in your room. The door was closed. You huh, opened it with my key. You left it open. Blame it on the nurse. That's right. I'm not sure it was... I'm sure it was not open. I know because I locked it. How did I get out then? She's going to be sassy. It was open. Don't try and trick me. Go inside your room wait for the doctor. Fine. Have your way. Mean old lady. I have no time for this. I have to find my way out. Mm, okay, so I'm supposed to try and leave again? Hmm. I don't know. All right. Well, that's where I'm going to end this one here. I will continue with this later on. So far, I really, really like this game. This game so far is very, very good. Um, but yeah, we will continue to try and get Fran out of the mental hospital in the next video. Um, please subscribe for more videos. Um, support me. Uh, comment in the section below. And tell me what you think about this game. And tell me if you've played this before, you know things you might have noticed or something I might have missed. Uh, but until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!